Philadelphia has long been known for its passionate sports fans. One of them made headlines this week when she was arrested and accused of offering sex in exchange for World Series tickets. Susan Finkelstein posted an ad on Craigslist describing herself as, quote, a gorgeous, tall, buxom blonde in desperate need of two World Series tickets. After meeting an undercover cop who told her he had tickets for sale, she was arrested. Susan Finkelstein says it's all wrong. She's here with her husband, Jack Lavoie, and her attorney, William Brennan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. There you go. So you're on... You spend a lot, you spend a lot of time online anyway? Yeah, it, I'm, it's part of my job. I'm online all day doing right. research and writing. And, and so the idea was what? What were you thinking when you wrote those words? I wanted to get Phillies tickets that I could afford. Right. And did you ever think, this is, I'm, this is a little out, double entendre here. There's a little, there's, there might be some seduction involved. And could anyone possibly see it the wrong way? Harry, not to interrupt, but se seduction <laughs> is a little problem for us with the case right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little more. We can't, the attorney, we can't attorney word. On seduction. Okay, all right. Uh, not in a technical, not in a legal uh, sense, right, but I, you know, I I work in communications and PR. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of writing for a living, right. and I wanted my ad to stand out um, in the section where people are advertising washers and Toyotas and cribs for sale, and right. I thought. You know, why not make it fun and, Pop, and witty? Uh, stand out from the used cars. Yeah. In some way, shape, or form. Jack, did you know about this? Oh, yes. Yeah. So th th this was, this, like, this. you thought this was fun. I was having fun. You were having a good time. Right. All right. So somebody answers the ad, right? I have were a few you, answers. <laughs> do, were you surprised? Um... I know. I, I was. I was. I was glad. I was right. surprised. Okay. So, somebody says, "Well, meet me at such and such." It's a, where, where did you meet? Uh, the um, the person who answered the ad was, was said he was a construction worker uh -huh. who lived uh, about forty miles from my house. Right. And uh, kind of a halfway point would be uh, in a different county. Right. And a, um, I wanted to meet in a public place because right. I felt that would be safe. That makes sense. Like so he suggested a yeah. a bar restaurant in a local uh, suburban mall. Time of day. 7.30 at night. 7.30 at night. All right, you're, you know all about this? I'm saying goodbye, Susan. Go get the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. And so you go in there, and what did you think was going to have to happen for you in order to get these tickets? Uh, Easy on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see... I wanted to go negotiate prices to get tickets for Jack and I to go to the game. Right. The prices were unbelievable. They are. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, I'm not going to pay $2,000 a ticket. Right. And that's what they were going for. Even, even I think they were more expensive in Philly than even in New York, from what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Were you nervous? Did no. you think? I, I was pretty confident that I had pretty good negotiating skills. Right. And, you know, you could I talk, added PR. You could talk your way into... Better tickets? Yeah, and you know, I, I, I got to the bar. He was already there. Yeah. He was at the bar, yeah. having a couple beers, having you have a, a chat, salad, right? right? Just like you would. And did anything happen in this conversation where you said, I'll give you X for Y? Uh, Harry, not, not to interrupt again, Harry, but that's, that's kind of the case here. Oh, okay. Harry, basically, Susan, uh, Mrs. Finkelstein puts a, a, a posting one, not in the women for men, men mm -hmm. for women, mm -hmm. not in the casual encounter section. She puts it on on the, you know, wanted for tickets. It, she's competing with Subarus and guys right. selling. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's very, you, you saw the post. There's no smoking gun there. Right. She gets there. This case would and be so much different. It would be so much different <laughs> if it was in a different section, if she met him at a motel, right. if there was a physical contact. Right. I mean, you've got a nice lady here with her husband. She, she lives and dies with the Phils. Innocuous posting in a public place. No money exchange. Yeah. No physical contact. How I mean, prove it. They put you in cuffs? Oh. <laughs> They chained her to a bench like a dog for tw for two hours. But in the oddest possible way, because you're probably a brilliant lawyer, you'll get, no. uh, you'll get her off on this. Well, you'll get you know, the trap. Watch the charges, language. See about <laughs> Sorry. Charges will be dropped. Charges you heard will. it here first. Uh, Harry Coyne. Charges will be dropped, comma, you've gotten tickets. I did get because tickets. Because of all of the publicity. Hey, you know, there's a silver lining in this cloud that uh, there was a local... Um, 
ticket agency, yeah. firsthandtickets.com, gave me tickets to the Yankees game So there you uh, go. last night, unfortunately. You just have to be careful of the words you use, as I just experienced just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank and, you. Uh, and good luck. Thanks. Right, Thank you. There you go.